In this video, the Teich doctor will tell us why filter units and skimmers can be counterproductive. He explains why you have to suck out the detritus at least once a year. He tells us all about the biofilm and what you have to do that after a few years your swim teich looks exactly the same as on the first day. Enjoy the video. If you like it, subscribe to our channel. Ines von Teichswimmer. Your channel for swim teichs. Nature in your garden and water that's alive. Enjoy watching. Without maintenance, it does not work. I always say the maintenance of a swim teich, of such a swim teich, is as much work as lawn mowing. So you don't save yourself any work. Not that you think, now I build a pond, then I have less work. So is it that I save myself a lot of work with maintenance if I build a swim teich without plants rather than with plants? You will surely have only 10 to 20 percent of the workload than with a swim teich with plants. And also all the technical supports, skimmers and so on. A skimmer is a filter. I have to either change or clean skimmers. Why are skimmers not suitable for small things like pollen? Yes, pollen is a spring problem for the swim teich. If you install and use a skimmer, a skimmer that is common, you would have to put it in a very fine mesh. But as this fine net is blocked after 20 minutes at the latest, you would have to go to the skimmer every 15 to 20 minutes and clean the skimmer or change the filter. Since this is not possible in terms of time, there are only coarse filter mats inside. Through these coarse filter mats, the pollen passes and is washed back in on the other side. With the help of solar energy, it is algae within 24 hours. Therefore, a skimmer that actually works can only be a very high quality skimmer or filter with regular washback, so that this fine mass that is sucked in and also the deceased microorganisms, which after all have a half-life of 12 to 24 days, so that this fine mass is rinsed out again. Because if they die and they are washed back in on the other side, algae develops within 24 hours. Is that organic matter and it changes? Yes, that is fertilizer. That is fertilizer and fertilizer becomes algae within 24 hours. It is nutrient. Mud formation always happens. Of course, only 10% of the mud that develops in conventionally built swim tykes with plants is because of the quality of organic matter in the form of plants. Therefore, once a year in spring you have to do a thorough cleaning. One sucks this organic mass which lies in the form of sludge on the ground respectively. A so-called biological lawn builds up in this oxygen-rich gravel box. This biological lawn has the cleaning power. If there is no nutrient there, the microorganisms stay in the gravel box and just starve there. If the nutrient is there, they multiply exponentially and clean the water. When they are done eating the nutrients, they die and lie as mud at the bottom of the swim teich. This must be sucked out. There is no way around it. Otherwise, here's what happens. Anaerobic fermentation processes take place in the sludge, and the fermentation gases lift this sludge to the surface of the water. These are those stinky sludge patties. On the surface, the specific pressure of the water falls, the gas escapes and the mud flakes float in the swim teich again. This is an eternal cycle that must be broken in the form of sucking the mud from the bottom.
at least once a year. If you want to have a very clean swim teich, it is maybe recommendable, because of organic input like pollen, to give the swim teich maybe every second month a short cleaning. Rinse into the deepest point. That is the reason why we build it this way. Then the suction, and then you have two months of peace again. Now we come to a big problem that every owner of a swim teich will certainly know. The slippery plates when entering the swim teich. This is the biological lawn. It feels like soft soap. There is one trick. If you have concrete steps, the trick does not work because you cannot move them. I recommend for the construction to simply put the plates on the steps without using concrete, so you can turn them over. If you turn the plates, on the below you will always find conditions as on the first day of use, because there is this other kind of microorganisms that feed on this biological lawn where no sunlight reaches. The good Lord invented it that way. So you don't really need to do anything except turn the plates. You do not need a high-pressure cleaner, a wire brush, or any other experiments that are out there today. Just turn the plates, or even every stone. Every owner of a swim teich can try this. Just select a big stone and turn it over. You will find out, on the underside, it looks like it did on the first day. That is why, after all, with this method of construction, there is no discussion like, show me the swim teich as it looks after five years. My swim teichs look exactly the same after five years as after 50 years. If I turn the stones respectively, when I turn those stepping stones or plates at the entrance, like this, I always have a swim teich as if I built it yesterday. That's the big trick with this way to build. You said it's two meters of regeneration zone that I need, right? Well, that is the zone for the microorganisms. They need protection from the UV radiation of the sun. And that they have in the oxygen-rich area of the gravel case. Otherwise, any chlorine swimming pool would work. That is the secret. Ah, the microorganisms in the water would not survive if they did not have this area? Yes, indeed. This area protects them from the UV radiation.